Hello friends, I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel Pharmacy Student Resource. Today in this session, let us discuss about ligand database preparation. So in the ligand database, let us see first what is a ligand. Ligand is a molecule used for screening against a statistically dependable disease model to obtain a lead molecule. So here we can use a ligand database which contains several molecules or molecular structures to uh, test it against a disease model both when a protein target is available or else a pharmacophore model is available. So here after evaluating via scoring we will be getting a lead molecule over here. So this is the ultimate objective is to obtain a lead molecule. So in the in silico studies, the ligands are prepared by using a molecular modeling software. Here while preparing the ligand database, what are the things that we need to remember? Very very important thing is chemical diversity. So diversity in the chemistry of compounds used in ligand database is very very important. Novelty in their chemistry is also very important. And acceptance to uh, Lipinski's rule of 5 and usage of ADM, ADM UT filter means absorption, distribution, metabolism, elimination and the toxicity filter uh, helps increase your success rate. Why diversity is important for us? Chemical diversity quite often reflects in the novelty in bioactivity profile. This is very very important for us because novelty in bioactivity profile means here you just see for example aspirin, silicoxib and gilutone. By changing the chemistry, we are able to obtain a novel, <coughs> novel bioactivity profile. <coughs> Here, aspirin is a non-selective COX inhibitor, silicoxib is selective COX2 inhibitor and gilutone is selective LOX5 inhibitor. So, here in this way, chemical diversity reflects in novelty in bioactivity profile. And another one is, change in chemistry, quite often, reflects maybe the all of them like aspirin, ibuprofen, indomethacin they all belongs to the same category NS, non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs but their unique chemistry makes each one of these molecules patentable because patenting is also very very important factor we need to consider in drug discovery programs. What is Lipinski's rule of five and why it is important? So here Lipinski is a scientist uh, working, still working with the Pfizer Global R&D and uh, here the thing is like not more than 5 hydrogen bond donors, not more than 10 hydrogen bond acceptors, the molecular mass less than 500 Daltons and the log p value not greater than 5. These are the uh, rules uh, first prescribed to increase the success rate of drug discovery uh, programs. But these rules doesn't apply to natural products and some of the uh, biologicals. And these rules evolved over a period of time or fine-tuned uh, to this like log p value within a range of 0.42 plus 5.6, molecular molar refractivity between 40 to 130, molecular weight from 180 to 500, non-hydrogen atoms, member of non-hydrogen atoms means other than hydrogen atoms we can have 20 to 70 atoms and polar surface area not more than 140 angstrom square. So these are some of the latest developments in these rules. All these rules can be, all these uh, physical chemical constants can be calculated by using softwares. A database also can be screened by using online tools as well as offline tools that are available for free on uh, in the internet. How to design a ligand database? One of the uh, uh, e, one of the popular method is start from a scaffold. Like you already have a lead molecule in your hand, and you wanted to go for optimization of a lead molecule. And in this case, you will be taking the framework, and you will prepare various analogs which are related to your compound. So in this way, you can probe structure activity relationships of each one of these. Uh, atoms, each one of the atoms or each one of these positions that are available uh, to optimize the bio biological activity of this lead molecule. This is one of the very popular methodology 
especially in the ligand based drug design and we uh, can also make use of ready made databases that are available online there are several databases available online which uh, provides two dimensional as well as uh, three dimensional data of uh, set of compounds millions of compounds are available especially in case of let us say for example drug bank database here we have approximately more approximately 8000 molecules are there in zinc database more than million molecules are there and mole base also carries mole base e molecules here you will be able to see more than 1 million compounds in each of these databases let us see how to make a ligand there are so many softwares are available in each of these softwares the protocol is uh, unique or otherwise they will have their own customized protocols for preparation of a ligand here i am giving you one example the way how you can make these ligand databases by using chemdra in chemdra first we will draw two dimensional structure of the compound and when you save this file as dot mole or any other format you can clearly see that we have only x and y coordinates are there in the file and when you convert this one to three dimension and save this molecule in pdb format you can see assignment of atom and their coordinates x y z but this is not enough this is like a dead molecule it's a simple model we need to add energy to energy component to each one of the atoms to define how it should respond to the external environment so that's why here i am taking i am giving you example something like mgl tools if we uh, treat this molecule here gas teaser charges are added and then uh, the torsions also uh, are actually fixed because here in the entire structure you can see one benzene ring this is also benzene ring this is a ring structure this is also ring structure but here we have a C single bond C and C single bond N. These are the two flexible uh, flexible bonds where uh, rotations are possible. In this way, we can prepare ligands with uh, complete flexibility to allow the molecule to change its conformation during the screening process. So here you can see X, Y, Z. Three coordinates are there, and at the end you can see partial charges were assigned so it is also defined as a hydrogen bond acceptor or hydrogen bond donor is also actually is mentioned every one of these computational modeling softwares will have their own protocols and here especially all these softwares alter especially over here the way how the software is treating each one of the ligands here we are adding partial charges is this enough we are setting the torsed off to two otherwise torsional angles also were defined are they enough they are not enough all the time because we have some responsive functional groups like uh, nitrogen is here nitrogen alters its ionization chain ionization state in response to external pH so those force field parameters are also to be added and other parameters like solvation uh, are also to be incorporated which are customizable customized sometimes these parameters are not available in most of the softwares some of the comprehensive softwares which deals with uh, uh, all parameters uh, are actually uh, paid softwares like Schrodinger we have uh, in Schrodinger uh, lig prep is uh, the tool available uh, for preparation of ligands and in the same way various other softwares are there where they will have their own customized tools to handle preparation of ligand database how to make use of ready made database let us say you um, have downloaded a database whichever is available online so in the ligand databases most probably you will be able to get only three dimensional pictures of or three dimensional structures like pdb uh, or dot sdf format uh, three dimensional structures are only available they are not 
provided with any charging charges or otherwise curation preparation nothing is there so this database you have to collect and then you apply Lipinski's rule of five radiometry filter or any other filters whatever is suitable to your research work to first prepare curated database here you need to be very very careful to remove all macromolecules and see that structures are made appropriately and salts are removed and then you add the components like flexibility partial charges ionization solvation energy by using an appropriate software to ultimately obtain a ligand database which is suitable for virtual screening so this is the way how ligand database is prepared for ligand database preparation every computational chemistry software will have their own protocol especially in the paid softwares the entire package is available to handle com for comprehensively preparing uh, ligand with every requirement like in case of flexibility partial charges ionization and any other uh, any other uh, uh, alteration that is needed for uh, ligand database preparation so here in the description box i have mentioned some of the very important softwares which are enough for you to practice ligand database preparation as well as some online resources are coming up right now some servers were there and some softwares they have evolved and many of them are available for free those tools you can make use of for curation as well as preparation of the database and i have also kept in the description box some of the literature now very useful liter uh, literature links are there which will help you uh, which will help you understand the concepts behind ligand database preparation friends i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you got very good information we got required information on ligand database preparation your feedback is very important to us please type in your comments as well as suggestions in the comment box and please uh, let us know if you have any queries regarding preparation of ligand database we'll meet again in our uh, next video session that is protein preparation thank you for watching this video